Say, Pop, would you mind if I took this gas mask? Nah, no, it's fine. Not doing too great a job scaring the birds, so I doubt taking it off will make much of a difference. Hope you weren't planning on using it, though. The filter's no good. That's fine. I'm sure I'll find some use for it. Gordon, I know you said you wanted a gas mask. I've got this one, but the filter is empty. Would you at least be willing to trade the pistol for it? Yes, this is good. If I can get a filter, this would be exactly what I need. Take the pistol, but if you find any filters... You'll get your filter, I promise. I'm sure somebody around here has to know something about them. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nelson's probably the guy to see about that. He's got books on just about everything. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? Coming out here, reading books, it makes me realize I've got the perfect life. Ah, I see. I do as well. It gives me pleasure to help how I can, although I'm too old to fight. What made you decide to join them? Danton makes some good points, despite being a bit overzealous. The favoritism the aristocracy showed their elite patrons after the plague began is completely inexcusable. Once the poor couldn't fund their medical research, we were quickly cast aside for those who could. Danton is brash, perhaps a bit foolish, but her ideals are what we need. I think I'd like to read for a while, if that's okay. Of course. What subject are you interested in reading about? I want to read up on science. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you. Interesting. This information could be pretty useful. Hello, Marushka. Amy, hello! Would you happen to know where I could find some salt? No, but Gus might. I think he uses it for his meats. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. I'm looking for salt, like the kind you use on meats. Where can I find some? Well, there's plenty out at the salt flats just outside the city, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to go out there. The walk takes a while, and lugging the stuff back's a chore. It shouldn't be a problem. How do I get there? You know the abandoned South Coast Rail Yard near Fripp Square? Just follow the main track down about half a mile and you'll find it. Thanks. we Will do. See you later, Gus. You bet. Hello, Marishka. Amy, hello! You know, as tough as things are, I feel like I've got the perfect life. I'm happy for you, Amy. 
You're always so positive. Looks like you had quite the harvest. Yes, thankfully. Though nothing is keeping very long. Weeds have become a big problem. Anything you want? You're looking very skinny these days. You should eat. Take a pumpkin. Half price for you. You can make pumpkin soup. You need your strength. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. One of these days, you'll get so skinny, you'll turn around and I won't be able to see you anymore. It's all right, Marishka. I ate yesterday. I'll be fine for a little while longer. No, no. You worry me when you say things like that. Relax, it's okay. I'm not dead yet. You said something about weeds being a problem? What are they called? What do they look like? Blue burglar. It grows very fast, very difficult to control. Pretty blue flowers, though. Too bad they ruined my vegetables. Luckily, I finally got them under control. They won't come back for a long time. Marishka, is this by any chance the weed you were telling me about? Yes. Take it away, Amy, and be careful. You let that thing get into the ground, and before you know it, they're everywhere. I'll be careful with it, I promise. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? I can't believe I never knew about this place. It's the perfect spot to get away from everything. Am I hearing things, or is that... music? Plenty of salt has been dug up here. I'll take a handful. The reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his birds. They let him know when someone dies, their mortal souls he hurts. If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, the reaper Huh, it's unlocked. That's kind of surprising. Denby, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, you know, living. That's what people do, I hear. Did you run away from home? I don't really want to talk about it. You can hang out here if you want, though. It's nice to have some company. Hey, Denby? Yeah? You know, I've got the perfect life. What the hell are you talking about, Amy? Have you gone crazy? No, I... Oh, just forget it. How long did you say you've been living here? Around two months. Not a bad place, really. There's plenty of room, and nobody comes by, so I've got all the privacy I could want. Well, nobody except you, anyway. I could leave you alone if you want. No, 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 uh, that's not what I meant. It's cool that you're here. It's nice to have someone to talk to. Why did you run away? I said I didn't want to talk about it. Well, I do. Is it some problem with your family? Is there anything I can do to help? No, it's just... I felt like I was getting in the way. 
Mom and Dad have been having a hard time getting us all enough food, and my brother and sister are little, so there's not much they can do for themselves. I figured it would just be better for me to go off on my own. I mean, I still go back and see them and give them anything extra I've got, but I kind of like having my own space, you know? Yeah, I know. Look at you being responsible. I'm so proud of you. Ugh, whatever. No need to be gushy about it. How did you manage to get in here? They didn't do a very good job of boarding up the doors. It was pretty easy to get in. I'm surprised nobody else tried before I did. I mean, there's like not much left in here, but glass is pretty valuable. I might trade it to Clem. Does any of the stuff in here still work? Yeah, I, I think the furnace still works. It's connected to the gas anyway. The gas is still on? Yeah, it's on a natural line, so it's still under pressure even though the power's been cut. I try to keep it off as much as I can though, just in case. Besides, if you need natural gas, I've pretty much got you covered. Good to know. Just don't light yourself on fire. I'll just leave you to whatever it is you're doing. Thanks. They're of no use to me. Harsh. Here, I think you dropped this. Oh, sweet! I was gonna go back tonight and steal... Uh, I mean, I was gonna think about what a shame it was that I didn't have any more chalk. Uh-huh. Well, I'm glad I saved you the trouble at any rate. I don't see any reason to throw salt in the bucket. Salt is useful for preserving meat, but it can also have some more creative applications. Take care of yourself, Denby. I'll try my best. I can't believe this hasn't been scavenged yet. What in this condition is so tough to find? At least this will make carrying the wood around slightly easier. Okay, I'll rub salt into the wood. That should prep it for carbonization. I'm back. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. If you're worried about that, you could always try knocking. Fair point. What are you doing? An experiment. Boring. Not when it involves burning stuff. Oh. Well, yeah. That's cool, then. Now we're cooking. What? You're actually gonna cook? No, it was a figure of speech. Oh, thank goodness. I still have nightmares about that lamb stew sometimes. I'll make it again if you don't shut up. Copy that. So, did your experiment work? Don't be so nosy, Denby. Nice. The wood burned long enough to become activated carbon. What? Spend some time reading Nelson's science books and you might learn something. Time for me to go. Okay, see ya.
Have you seen this weed before? Sure, that's Blue Burglar. I haven't seen it in ages, though. Where'd you get it? There's some growing near my place. Why is it called Blue Burglar? Because it creeps up on you seemingly overnight. Plant just one and your whole field will be full of them in a month. Would your sheep eat it? I think they'd eat anything at this point. Wouldn't hurt to try. Thanks, Amy. I'll go get some more and plant it tonight. At least the sheep we've got left might still stand a chance. Happy to help. Butcher, a word, if you would. Yeah, what is it? The Ministry of Resources is in need. You are hereby requested to provide your stocks of meat for government distribution. But I hardly have any meat to spare, and it'll be a while before I can get more. Be that as it may, Aurelius has extended you the courtesy. In exchange, you will be provided two water purifiers per month. I don't know. I have to think about it. Very well. If you change your mind, please notify the Ministry, but know that this offer will not last forever. Good day to you, citizen. Gordon, look. I got you some charcoal for your gas mask's filter. I... I don't believe it. I don't know what to say. Then listen. Nelson has a science book explaining how you can make charcoal filters. It's really not that difficult. If you can find or make more masks, you can make filters and provide them to anyone who needs them. I'm stunned, Amy. Thank you for your help. We've all got to look out for each other. Merchant, a word if you would. What do you want? Aurelius of the Ministry of Resources is officially requesting your supply of raw brass. What? But brass is my most valuable material. It's practically impossible to come by these days. Correct. Which is why in exchange, the Ministry is offering you ten food vouchers a week. Do you accept this offer? I... don't know. Ten food vouchers a week is a lot, but... I'll have to think about it. Very well. If you change your mind, please notify the Ministry, but know that this offer will not last forever. Good day to you, citizen. That's a tough offer to refuse. Why didn't you accept? Because if I hand over my materials to the aristocracy, I won't have enough to provide to Danton. That's pretty loyal, Gordon. She's what we need to change this place, even if it hurts in the short term. Glad to see you've returned. I assume you've managed to sort things out with our suppliers? Yes. You've done well, Amy. I think you'll get along here just fine. But understand this. Committing yourself to help the Resistance is not a promise made lightly. We require your full cooperation and transparency. No secrets or lies. Do I make myself clear? Yes, quite clear. So I'm guessing there's more work to be done? Come with me. Thank you for helping our suppliers. As you can probably tell, recruitment has been slow, which has hindered our progress. But I think with your help, we just may be able to initiate some changes. What is it you had in mind? That letter you brought us came from our contact in the Ministry of Medicine. It contained extremely valuable information. I need you to infiltrate the Ministry of Medicine and confirm what this letter says. Do you have any questions? This Milton, who was he? Why did knowing my father make him trust me? As I mentioned before, he was our double agent in the Ministry of Energy. With his help, we were able to establish our contact in the Ministry of Medicine. In the early days of the Rebellion, Milton also recruited your father as the official mechanic. They were good friends. I never met Cooper myself, but my understanding is that he was just as loyal as Milton. Losing them both has been a blow. I think we'll manage, though. After all, we have you now.
You mentioned my father was with the Rebellion in the early days. How come he never mentioned it? It doesn't surprise me. The previous attempt at a rebellion was met with disastrous failure. They didn't manage to get very far before being discovered and quelled by the aristocracy. Your father and Milton were the only original members to escape unharmed. It's taken us a very long time to get back on track, but I intend to avenge our forefathers and deliver the justice they died for. If you're so against the government, why do you use the Ministry of Medicine symbol as your code to get in here? That's exactly what the aristocracy would expect. Having our own symbol would make us easier to find once they figured out what it was. Sometimes the best way to hide things is to put them in plain sight. Can you tell me what it is I meant to find? Our contact was unable to provide the exact details in case the letter was intercepted. But if the information he did give us is correct, it means the government is covering up something very important having to do with the green lung vaccine. If you confirm this, it will be exactly what we need to expose the government's lies and incite a revolution. What if it turns out to be a false lead? It won't. Believe me, you'll find something in there. You have to. What's the plan for getting me into the Ministry of Medicine? An excellent question. You know how the wealthy have contracts with the aristocracy based on their support when they first formed? I have a vague idea, sure. If a government supporter were to show signs of green lung, the aristocracy would waste no time in sending a doctor to treat them. I want you to go to Fripp Square. My sources tell me that a notable supporter has recently been showing symptoms of the plague. His name is Silas Harrison. He should be visited by a doctor very soon. Find out when and where the visit will take place. Then, intercept the doctor, disguise yourself, and enter the Ministry of Medicine. Once you've done that, you'll locate the central storage room where they keep the vaccine supply. I suspect that's where you'll find what we're looking for. Maybe I should write all this down. It's a lot to keep track of. No, I'm sorry, but we can't have a paper trail. I trust you'll be able to make this happen. I know it's complicated and dangerous, but believe me when I say this information will change everything. I guess I should get started. Good. Head over to Fripp Square and find out where Harrison is. That should get you close enough to intercept his doctor. You might also try checking at the Ministry itself. They might have some information on when the doctor is set to make his house call. Once you're in the Ministry, you can identify our contact by using the code phrase. I'm not sure how much help he'll be able to give you, but having an ally on the inside is at least better than nothing. I wish you luck, Amy. Remember that if you succeed, the Resistance will reward you in far greater ways than the aristocracy ever could. <laughs>